Hello guys, I'm Rebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. Today we'll be discussing how to swap two numbers using Python. So that will help us to understand more about variables and operators. So first, I'll declare two variables a and b, a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5. And then I'll introduce another variable temp. So temp is equal to a so that a gets stored in the variable temp temporarily. Now remember that the value 3 is present in both temp as well as a. And now you have to swap a with b so that the value 5 gets stored in a. And finally, all you have to do is swap b with temp. Temp is nothing but the value of a. Let's run and check it. Let's run and check it. So yeah, the values got swapped. But if you see, we have just swapped the numbers using the normal method that is by using a third variable. Let's now try swapping the numbers without using a third variable. a is equal to a plus b, b is equal to a minus b, a is equal to a minus b. So guys, this is one of the methods where we don't use a third variable. Let's understand how this works. So a plus b, 3 plus 5 is actually 8. And then a minus b, that is 8 minus 5 is 3. And then 8 minus 3 is 5. Let's run it. So like you just saw, it got swapped. Now, let me show you one more interesting and an efficient way in which these variables can be swapped. So let's try replacing these plus and minus operators with XOR operator. Let me run it. Like you just saw, the variables have got swapped using the XOR operator. Basically, this XOR operator works based on bitwise calculations. I have explained about XOR operator in the previous tutorial. Uh, for those of you who don't have any idea about this operator, uh, check out the link in the description box. And now, let me show you another way in which swapping can be done in just a single line. a comma b is equal to b comma a. Let's run this. So like you just saw, the numbers have got swapped. So guys, if you're wondering how this worked, it is done by using this simple method called as stack. So here, the compiler evaluates this expression from right to left. So first, b and a are pushed inside the stack and then there is a function called as rot underscore 2 which helps in rotating or swapping these two values. Like you just saw, the numbers have been rotated and then those numbers will get stored like this. And that's how you can swap two variables in Python using these different methods. You can try out all these methods and if you have any doubts, post it in the comment section below and we'll help you out with them. So stay tuned and see you all in the next tutorial. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.